I asked, then Rimmelauer told. You are starting to take the show on the road. So what has it been like to perform out of New York City? Have the audience reactions been the same? No, um, it's been fun to do it out of the city. I, for me, this is the first time I've really performed anything. So it's given me a great um, deal of confidence to do it in other cities because I think part of me felt like, oh, maybe this is a fluke or like a dream or something, you know? And just sort of being able to walk into a venue and, you know, sound check for five minutes and then do the show, I'm like, okay, the, this show exists in me, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's been great. The audiences have been different. Um, they've all been great. Um, I was worried about doing all the sort of theater references in the show outside of New York, although I actually found that in the other cities, uh, I think New York audiences are a little jaded about that. Mm -hmm. And I think in the other cities, the audience was more eager to show me that they were theater people, you know? So it's like if I made an offhand reference to, I don't know, like, I don't think I even talk about Mandy Patinkin in the show, but if I said something about Mandy Patinkin, I can't remember the script, but, you know, that, whereas New York, they're just like, oh, God, here she goes again, you know? Mm -hmm. But, like, in other cities, I feel like they're like, oh, Mandy Patinkin, totally! <laughs> so that's been kind of funny. So they're probably eating up anything you can give them because they don't get to maybe go as often as someone who lives here. Yeah, so this I think summer, so. This summer, you're taking the show to Provincetown. And tomorrow, I start in Fire Island. Oh, my God. Yeah. So the both areas are very uh, heavily gay yes. traveled. Yeah. What made you want to bring the show to both places? Get paid to be on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, well, I felt like, I mean, I want to do the show anywhere that I can, you know, and I'm taking a lot of bookings I'm going to be doing in Chicago and... Uh, Glasgow, Scotland, and, oh um, and you know, a lot more uh, cities we're working on now, Boston and Berlin and mm -hmm. all kinds of places. And I've done it in California and a lot of cities. But um, so just in trying to think of places where I could get a booking, mm -hmm. um, the gay places made sense to me because the show has a lot of gay subject matter. Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing as it deals with musical theater and stuff, it also is appealing, I think, to a lot of gay people, sort of marketable in that way. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I did want to, I love, I've been to both of those places before. I was in Provincetown last summer to see Patti LuPone mm. do her uh, interview slash concert with Seth Rudetsky. And I loved that. Um, and I love Provincetown. So I thought it would be, and Provincetown is a very um, uh, show busy kind of resort. I mean, there's so many people that do different kinds of performances, comedy and cabaret and theater there. Um, so I, a lot of people had said that this would be a natural, this show, for mm -hmm. Provincetown. Um, so that appealed to me. And, and I just, I love Fire Island. I mean, I've been in love with that. When I was in college, I read a lot of um, gay fiction of the 1970s, most of, most of which was set in New York. And Fire Island seemed to me, coming from California, as this, like, uh, paradise, this, you know, fantasy island. So I always loved the idea of figuring out a way to do the show there. I'm so grateful that... Um, Tony Fornobio in the Fire Island Pines, who's the director of the pavilion and the entertainment for that whole mm -hmm. complex, uh, booked me for six shows. So I start tomorrow. Pattyishes.com. That's great. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.